It is my pleasure to talk to you today about a new culture method for culturing primary neurons from the adult central nervous system, including the brain and spinal cord. First, I will give a brief overview of the method, followed by images that indicate the nature of these cells, including their ability to establish dendrites and axons, to express adult neuronal markers, to express synaptic markers and form electrically active neural networks in culture. Lastly, I will show you an application for this method that may advance our understanding in the arena of neural repair. Culturing neurons have greatly advanced our understanding of neural development, and over a century after the first attempts to culture these cells in vitro, we have significantly advanced our understanding of neurons and their complex networks. Now, as we embark towards the next horizon of repair and regeneration, new in vitro methods are required to parcel out and understand mechanisms of regeneration of the adult nervous system. The method described here today is for research use only and not for therapeutic or diagnostic use. In this method for culturing viable adult central nervous system neurons, we have five steps shown in this schematic that utilizes extreme gentle mechanical and enzymatic dissociation of CNS tissue to successfully tease apart neurons from their intricately interwoven projections to other neurons and the neuropole, allowing for successful culturing of large numbers of adult neurons. In step two, the tissue is immersed in a solution containing enzymes P and enzyme A and placed into a very gentle mechanical dissociator called the octo dissociator. At 37 degrees, the tissue is agitated for 30 minutes without exerting excessive shear force, thereby contributing to a gradual dissociation and separation of neural components. The tissue was then passed through a 70 micron membrane, washed and centrifuged before moving to the next step. To further remove the contamination of red blood cells from your viable cellular fraction, hemolysis is used to remove red blood cells by suspension of your cell pellet in red blood cell solution. 
BDNF is added at 20 nanogram per mole final concentration to increase viability of neurons during this lysis step. Your mixture is incubated at 4 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, then centrifuged before moving to the next step. In summary, I have outlined a new method for culturing viable adult CNS neurons. There are five major steps that begin with tissue harvesting, followed by mild enzymatic and mechanical dissociation, debris removal, immunolabeling of non-neuronal cells to obtain a pure neuronal fraction. This process can be achieved within a few hours and requires some equipment and some level of expertise with cell culture. Different cell types from the CNS can be isolated with this method, including the cortex, the hippocampus, the striatum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. Adult primary neurons from these cultures 
form dendrites and axons in culture and retain their full polarity where MAP2 positive compartments are dendritic in nature and a TUJ1 axon that is MAP2 negative defines the axon.
From a global perspective, around the world, about 1 billion people suffer from neurological disorders. That is one in every six individuals. To date, there are only 81 FDA-approved treatments on the market. If we compare this to a field of cancer which has been very successful in translational therapeutic strategies, 315 million individuals are affected by cancer with 118 FDA-approved treatments. Taking a temporal perspective, about twice as many FDA-approved therapies are developed in cancer compared to neurological disorders from 2015 to 2017. This indicates there remains a great unmet need to develop effective therapeutic strategies for diseases of the nervous system. To date, the culture methods that has been available to us to test various therapeutic strategies have not been sufficient. E18 embryonic cortical cultures have been widely used to understand mechanisms of regeneration and neural repair, but remain embryonic in nature. Second, adult dorsal root ganglia are sensory neurons that spontaneously regenerate throughout adulthood and are unipolar in nature. These cells have been used to understand mechanisms associated with motor repair, but success has been limited. A study published in Neuron on the right indicated for the first time the vast molecular differences of motor neurons and sensory neurons during regeneration. Lastly, postnatal day one through seven cortical cultures are phenotypically different from adult cortical neurons. The development of a purely adult primary culture system will greatly enhance our ability to understand neural injury, neural repair, and may lead us towards a faster discovery avenue for diseases of the nervous system. In summary, most methods for understanding the molecular mechanisms of injury and repair do not represent the adult brain and spinal cord. Screening methodologies may therefore lead to suboptimal discoveries. Using the incorrect model system will slow down discovery while increasing time and costs. Using this new method for culturing viable adult neurons will allow us to effectively understand disorders of the adult nervous system and may lead to faster discoveries of effective treatments for central nervous system diseases.